I frequently refer to this area as the Kingdom of Cincinnati because we sort of march to the beat of our own drum and sort of it doesn't matter what anybody else does, we sort of do our thing our way. So really from the very beginning um, um, of, um, of Cincinnati politics as, as we know it today and how we got here, we were a little bit different. So now we switched over to the top vote getter uh, system of electing the mayor. Uh, he, he ran for council and whichever person, everybody ran for council, whichever person got the most votes uh, became the mayor. Well that turned out to be really dysfunctional. We limped along with that one for a while but it, it didn't work because everybody wanted to be mayor. So every two years you were not only in perpetual campaign mode because that was the length of terms of office for the members of council but um, you were constantly trying to make yourself better known so you could knock off the other guy who had been elected mayor last time and you would get to be the mayor and so it, was, it, it, it made a system that was already not producing the world's greatest cooperation among members of council it was got even worse uh, in this period so that was uh, a move that uh, we went to the very few cities chose to do but Cincinnati figured that was one of the ways that they were going to quote fix it um, uh, many um, uh, cities also reformed uh, the government by uh, going from um, two-year terms to four-year terms under the theory that more could get done because you weren't constantly re-electing, trying to re-elect yourself, constantly campaigning, uh, constantly raising money, constantly engaged in all kinds of grandstanding, all that sort of thing. We didn't. We held out on that one for a long time. Um, and uh, then uh, a lot of people uh, argued, especially those cities that were council manager cities, again, that were, they were elected at large or some modified at large system in our case, uh, um, originally elected through this SDV or preference voting system, but either way, either uh, at large like we have now or um, the SDV system, people decided, no, we should elect out of wards and districts. Well, that was such anathema at the time of the progressive reform, you know, oh God, that you should elect out of wards, that's what was wrong with, you know, machine politics, all that ward uh, bossism and, and uh, doing people favors and all the corruption and everything connected with it. So, um, but other cities decided, no, that this was good. People would feel better represented if they elected their own district representative or ward representative. So many cities uh, switched to a total district system or some combination of at-large and district. And again, um, Cincinnati held out and held out and held out and still we have not gone to wards and districts. Whereas most, uh, even council manager cities uh, that originally were so opposed to that idea have now gone to district systems or some combination of district and at-large. Um, and there's been uh, millions of proposals <laughs> over the course of time uh, that come forth uh, with a plan that says Cincinnati needs to do this. Let's move to some combination of district at large or all, all districts. Um, and um, But what we did succeed in doing a few years back in 1999 was going to a different kind of mayoral system. Again, many council manager cities developed a direct election of the mayor, but the mayor remained a member of council. And the mayor may have even been given some extra powers. Okay, the person who is now elected the mayor out of this member of council position, the mayor gets to do things that in many council manager cities they didn't get to do. They set the agenda for the council meeting. They get to uh, um, uh, choose all the committee heads of all the committees of council. They do all those things as a member of council, but obviously a very stronger leading member of council than just sitting there running the meetings, which was the original model, right? Um, so a lot of them went to direct election of the mayor. Some cities decided to move in a more hybrid direction, or one of my, I was just checking one of the uh, state and local government politics and government textbooks uh, uh, describing this as, as a, uh, um, a, a mixed system as opposed to a hybrid, but however you describe it, um, the reform that finally went through after several ill-fated attempts um, to um, uh, go in this direction to, to create something of a hybrid 
uh, the version that we enacted in 1999, created something that's kind of neither here nor there. Because technically speaking, the city manager is still the chief executive and operating officer for the city under that council manager model. Um, but we have this mayor that is now not only separately elected, uh, not a member of council, but still but does have the power to control the agenda, that does have the power to choose who gets to be the vice mayor and who gets to be uh, the chairs of all these various committees. And in much in keeping with the executive mayor model, the budget now can't just go directly from the city manager's office to the members of council. It has to go through the mayor's office. So the mayor now has to sign off on this budget and the mayor can offer some suggestions and tinker with the budget and push this, that, or the other. So that's a much more executive function than was typical in council manager cities. And now the selection the firing and the hiring of a city manager is very much one in which now the mayor has a major role. It's not complete and total control, but the mayor now plays a major role in, in who that person, who is still technically the chief executive and operating officer for the city, but there are not very many of us out there, and there are especially not many of uh, these hybrid cities that are still clinging to the to the uh, at-large system of electing um, uh, the members of council. They've almost all switched yeah. over to either a mixed system of district at-large or to a district system, which again is in keeping with that old executive mayor council system. Uh, you know, it was typical of that model. So we are, if not unique, unique pretty darn unique. <laughs> I'm really close to it in terms of what we're doing.